Welcome to Open Dental's OrthoChart webinar. Open Dental offers an OrthoChart that can be used to keep clinical notes for ortho treatment separate from other clinical notes in the patient chart. In this webinar, we'll be discussing how to set up and how to use the OrthoChart. From the Chart Module toolbar, click OrthoChart. The OrthoChart requires you to set up the fields that will display. The data entered in the ortho chart is only shown here and is completely separate from the patient's regular chart. In this window, we have custom patient fields. You can double click a patient field to enter information. You can see the link below for more information on how to customize your patient fields. The upper right section has our patient auto ortho summary. This will only show if the option is turned on in Ortho Setup. For inf more information about the Auto Ortho, please refer to our Ortho Setup webinar linked below. The bottom half has tabs and columns. The tabs uh, can be completely customizable, as can the columns that show within each tab. And then here to the uh, right in the center, we have the User and Signature section. This will only display if a signature column has been added to a tab. It will display the user that signed a note if there's any. To customize your ortho chart, click Setup on the upper left corner. You can also access this setup window from two other places in the ortho setup. So that would be Setup and Ortho, and then Ortho Chart Display Fields, or from the main menu, Setup. And display fields, ortho chart. For today's purposes, we'll be setting up our ortho chart directly from the ortho chart right here. So first, tabs are a great way to organize ortho chart information. By default, there is one tab labeled ortho chart, but you can add many. Each tab can have the same or different columns showing. An example of way, why you may wish to create multiple tabs might be that you offer orthodontic treatment in separate phases, and each phase may have different procedures or protocols, so you can have a tab for each. The name of the first tab determines the text on the ortho chart button in the chart module, this button, and is the text of the go to ortho chart right click option when clicking on an appointment in the appointment module. So from this window, we can click on Setup Tabs, and we can click Add on the right here to create a new tab with a new tab name, or mark one as hidden, or if we wish to edit an existing tab, we can simply double click on that tab name and change the name or again mark it as hidden. We can use the green up and down arrows here on the right side to reorganize the order in which these tabs show. By the way, you can also use tabs to track non-ortho related procedures such as implant progress. We can click OK to save our changes. This section will display the columns that show in an ortho chart tab. And columns can allow text entry, offer a pick list selection, show the provider, or signature box. So in order to set up your columns, you would first select the tab you would wish to add the column to. We'll stick in ortho chart for now. The fields listed under the fields showing tab, or area, excuse me, are the fields that are currently showing in your ortho chart. And the available fields off to the right here are the fields that are not showing in the selected tab. To add an available field, one well, that's already been created to the fields showing area, you would just highlight that field in available fields and use your blue left arrow to move it onto the fields showing area. Again, you can use your green up and down arrows to reorganize the way these columns show in the tab. And to add a new field name that is not already listed, you can enter the description in the new field field over here on the right. 
and then use your blue left arrow again to move that onto the field showing area. Again, you can reorganize using your up and down arrow as needed. To remove a field, you would highlight it under the field showing list, and then use your right blue arrow here in the center to move it into the available fields section. Let's move that back onto our main list for now. To edit a column name, customize the width, or create your entry options, you would double click the field under Field Showing. And in this window, you can give this field a description override. So that would change the name of the field in the ortho chart, but not in the available fields area. The description is the name of the column as it shows in the fields showing list. And the minimum width is automatically generated based on the width of the text in the description box. You can customize the column width here in the column width field. You can make that as large or as small as you like. And below that, we have entry options. How are we going to enter information into this field? We have options for text, where you just enter custom text into the field. You can create a pick list to choose from. Uh, keep in mind this will be a single selection pick list. You can have a signature box. And it will indicate when an electronic signature is valid. Or we can set a provider to display the provider filling in the chart. When you create your pick list, you'll want a single selection on each line. For example, if I wanted to add a re-cement bracket, for the purpose of the visit, I would want that on its own separate line. Again, we can use our green up and down arrows to reorganize the way this list appears. I have set up one of each type of these fields for you. Home care is another pick list. Notes is a text entry type. We have our signature box and our provider field. You can click OK to save our changes. So now using the ortho chart. When the ortho chart is opened, a new row will automatic, automatically be added with today's date. To add, add an entry for a previous date, you would click the Add Row button on the lower left and enter a date, a specific date prior to today, or you can click Today, enter another row for today's date. You can select a provider for that note, it is optional, and then click OK. I need to add a date. So now a new row will show in the ortho chart grid. To enter information in our ortho chart, you would select an ortho chart tab first, the tab with, under which we want to um, add information, and then click into a cell. So for purpose, we can choose from our pick list. Same for home care, it's a pick list. For fields that have a note, type for entry, you can also use auto notes. So not only can you enter notes freehand, you can also use auto notes. You would do that just by clicking into the field and then selecting this auto note button from the lower left corner. It will bring up your list of all your auto notes you have previously created. This might be useful if you want um, a pick list that allows multiple selections. You can find a link to more information about auto notes in the description below. If a signature box shows, as it does here, the row can be signed electronically with a signature pad, a mouse, 
or an electronic signature stamp. The little E in the upper left corner. The allowed digital signatures must be turned on in the chart module preferences for that to uh, show here the allowed digital signatures. If the user logged into Open Dental is not the user filling out the chart, you can select the change user button to pick a different user from your existing user list. All ortho chart entries are sorted by date, oldest to newest. And when a tab is opened, only date entries with data in them will show. Also, if you're using the same column in more than one tab, any data entered into that column will show in all tabs that share that column. You can click the print to print the ortho chart grid exactly as it shows. You can print in labs, landscape mode if needed to fit all of your columns. You can use the audit trail to view historical changes made on a dated entry. So both patient fields and ortho chart changes are tracked here. By default, all dates are highlighted when you open the audit trail. So you can then see all changes. To see changes for a specific date, you would highlight that date under date service. And then you can see the specific changes that were made for that entry. Finally, the last thing in the ortho chart is this locked by section. Only one user is allowed to edit the ortho chart at a time. If another user were to open the ortho chart and see that it is locked by a different user, you would see a take control button here and they can take control and finish entering the changes to the ortho chart. That concludes our webinar for the ortho chart. You can see the link below for additional webinars relating to Open Dental's orthodontic features. Thank you. Thank you for joining us for today's webinar. If you have any additional questions, please contact our support line at 503-363-5432 or access our complete online manual at opendental.com and make sure you're staying up to date on our latest training videos by subscribing to our channel and turning on notifications.